Oh, perfect. Hello, everyone. I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. We're continuing the Stibbins and Lady Laurent stuff. And, uh, perfectly enough, this hastily written note is what needed. Our ship to Cold Harbor has gone somewhat awry. I do hope this doesn't prove too inconvenient for dear Lady Laurent. She is so expects things to go smoothly. I find myself separated from the others in the clutches of extremely beautiful D Daedra. The Daedra has been pol have the Daedra have been polite so far, if not a little lascivious. Still, I'm not sure that I can fully trust them. They hold me within a tower. I will continue to write these notes and drop them from my window until I am rescued. I should rescue Stibbins. One of my Daedra captors has started making advances toward me. I assure you, this behavior is entirely unreciprocated. I've tried to be a gentleman about it, but she's quite insistent. A timely rescue appears increasingly desirable. I wonder how poor Lady Lauren is holding up. I do hope she is alright. Her, her clothes must be terribly wrinkled by now. Stibbins. So we have to rescue Stibbins! Situation becoming urgent. Drusilla continues to woo me in a most tenacious manner. I've tried to be stern with her, but this seems to only make her more determined to have her way with me. It's most disconcerting. Furthermore, dear Lady Laurent must be nearly starving by now. She forgets to take care of herself unless I remind her. Spurned Peak. It's full of twilights and seducers. Oh, we're having some lag on the animations there, boys. Ladies, I guess. Oh, were you just waiting for me to do something? Yeah, I bet. Oh, they have a bit of health. Aren't winged twilights associated with Azura? And not really Molag Ball? Azura... Oh, no, right here. Prompt rescue is imperative. I let Drusilla know in the clearest possible manner that my heart belongs to another. She refused to accept this and made it clear that she will have me. I fear she may soon wear me down. De Dear Lady Lauren's hair must be a tangled mess by now. The climate is harsh and I haven't attended to it in days. Maybe I will do the other... Let me see how this goes and maybe I will do the other one that involves Lady Lauren as well. I think it's nearby here. Is it the library? I don't remember. There's so many uniquely named places in Cold Harbor. It's very difficult to remember them all. Oh, look at her just maxing and relaxing. Do they have any of the the male seducers or uh, golden saints in this game because they do exist they're just uncommon or very rare I would even say you see one or two of them in the Shivering Isles the, the expansion I kind of would like to see the Shivering Isles in this universe properly as a zone but at the same time there's been so much Chia Gorath stuff no Stibbins is mine! You won't take him from me! Oh, I kind of feel bad for her. Genuine affection and all that. Stibbins? Oh, thank you. Let's meet by the Way Shrine, just east of this tower. I'll be fine. As long as the Daedra think I still belong to Drusilla, they won't harm me. Oh, lucky you. The one to the east, he said. God, that was a fast quest, if that's really all there is to it. Maybe I will do the other one. Someone playing a flute? Oh. There's a prisoner in that cage playing a flute.
alright. Come to think of it, you don't see it. You see a lot of seducers, I guess because Molag Ball employs them. But you don't see a lot of Golden Saints in this game. I think there's a couple like associated with Meridia, and you see some as. Oh wait, Golden don't Golden Saints don't Golden Saints guard uh, Volendrung and Cyr in Cyrodiil whenever it spawns or at the spawn points. I think it's Golden Saints, unless it's a mix of the two. What was the other cre- there was the Golden Saints, the Dark Seducers, there was the Hungers, which we've seen in this game. What was the other- something with a G, there was some kind of creature from the Shivering Isles, I don't remember. Uh, Sibbins? Your textures are bad. Oh, it's so good to see a familiar face in this dreadful wilderness. I appreciate that you climbed that tower to rescue me. A little longer, and who knows what Drusilla would have made me do. I'm glad I was able to help. I won't forget what you did for me. Even a loyal servant can withstand the charms of a beautiful winged Daedra for only so long, you know. I saw a city from the top of the tower. I'll head there and try to find my dear Lady Laurent. Okay. Where is the Library Freedom of is a wonderful That's thing. thing. And I'm sure that dear Lady Laurent has missed me terribly. She really is lost when I'm not around to help her. West of the Hollow City. Okay. How'd you end up in the tower? The Mage's Guild hired Lady Laurent and a few other scholars and treasure hunters for some sort of mission. I was never really made privy to the finer details. Anyway, Lady Laurent had me gather her equipment and follow her through a portal. And then you were separated? Quite so. I must have blacked out. When I opened my eyes, a winged beauty was hovering above me. She took me in her claws and carried me to the top of that tower. That must have been terrible. Well, it wasn't that bad. Drusilla was very kind, for an evil Daedra, but she became infatuated. My natural charms, I suppose, but the more I refused her, the harder she pressed herself upon me. I'd rather not talk about this, if you don't mind. Okay. Alright, so the Library of Dusk... Oh, I have it on the map. Wouldn't you know it. That was roughly seven minutes, looks like. So I should be looking for a, an astral projection. Like that one. You're alive! That's wonderful! Can we talk? You're a real live person, aren't you? I thought I was all alone out here. I bet you came from that city over there. Could you help me, please? Why can I see through? I'm a projection, silly. My brother and I are part of the Mages Guild expedition. Well, freelancers, really. We got separated from the others as soon as we arrived in Cold Harbor. But we're not slacking off. We're investigating this old library. So what's the problem? We drew straws and I wound up on watch duty. But when I saw Daedra seal the entrance, I found another way inside. To rescue my brother, you know. But now I'm trapped too. There's a lot of magical projection stuff in here. That's how I'm talking to you. How can I help? The Major Guild gathered a team of the best dungeon delvers from across the three alliances. Members of the Undaunted, just in case they ran into any ruins or relics. My brother went into the old library with a couple of other treasure hunters. And that's when the Daedra showed up. You got it. Look, my brother's the expert, but I think the Daedra are using the projection lenses to spy on the people trapped in the library. As long as the lenses are active, the doors won't open. I'm thinking sabotage is in order. So I should destroy them? That's my thought. I'll provide whatever help I can from in here. I can tell you this. One of the other scholars, she called this place the Library of Dusk. Couldn't wait to start exploring. Please hurry. Whatever the Daedra want, it can't be good. Naturally. Uh, okay. Ooh, they're kind of all over the place. Let's start with the rightmost. And... Ah yes, Cold Flame Atronox. There's like a whole weird thing about why Molag Ball doesn't use regular Flame Atronox. Like, some weird scandal that happened that nobody wants to talk about. Oh, that's a cool thing. How come this hasn't been made of furnishing? Is this working? Can you see me? I'll try to show you what's going on inside the library while you smash those lenses. Here goes. 
mad scholar. Hey, Rainer. Did you see that? I'll make some adjustments while you search for the next lens. Is she following with me or is she just spawning in set places? It's hard to tell. Uh, how do I get up to this one? It's working. I switched the widgets with the gadgets and that seemed to do the trick. Now let's see if I can get a view into the other part of the library. What? Well, I guess those are male dark seducers, if I had to fathom a guess. That was unexpected. I must be doing something wrong. I'll give it one more try while you hunt down the last lens. Okay. All right, I think I made the proper adjustments. Now, let's see if I can spot my brother. Tellinger and Lady Laurent. Lady Laurent, we need to get out of here. This place is a trap. Young Raynor has already been caught in its spell. Oh, Talinger, let's just stay here, you and I, forever. No, the glamour has taken you as well. Come, my dear. Let's find a quiet corner among all these beautiful books. She's lost. Damn! I need to escape before I also succumb to the spell. I'll leave them a note in case the effects wear off. Huh. A spell? Why haven't I been affected? Wait, I just heard the door unlock. It should be safe now. Come meet me in the gallery at the top of the ruins. Okay. Yeah, so I was considering not doing this quest because it features the Vano siblings, who were the last group I, or characters I wanted to focus on, because they have a bunch of quests as well. But, I mean... There's going to be overlap anyway. I might as well do it now. Because we have to save Lady Laurent. And then there's a third quest in Cold Harbor to do. Raynor! Raynor! He can't hear me. Why can't he hear me? Raynor! I can see Raynor through this observation window, but he can't hear me. It must be the spell. And I bet the spell didn't affect me because I'm not attuned to whatever catalyst controls the Magicka Matrix. The what? You know, the spell web. A pretty elegant trap, really. I think the spell's catalyst has something to do with an interest in knowledge. I'd be insulted, but what can I say? I'm in this for adventure, not scholarly pursuits. And thanks, by the way. The spell seems to be a combination of glamours and illusions. It snared my brother and the other scholarly types. Anyway, we can't leave them like that. We have to snap them out of it. You have a plan? I always have a plan. It requires you to get down there and talk some sense into them. I'll make sure the Daedra don't lock us in here again. Just find me if Raynor gives you any trouble. And be careful. Illusion magic can be tricky. I thought the spell only affects scholars. Sure, but there may be other spells active down there. Take a look at the observation windows and remember the details of each holding cell. The Daedra must be keeping those notes for some reason, and I believe in always being prepared. Okay. Rainer Vanos, Dunmer, male, Dwemer Artifice Expert. Held in a room with yellow crystals and eye of Hermaeus Mora banner. Or is heavily susceptible to illusions but may possess Dwemer inspired devices. Search carefully. So he's yellow, and Hermaeus. Lady Clarice Laurent, Breton, female, noble explorer held in room with cross of Meridia banner and blue crystals. Maybe resistant to illusory spells. Observe closely. Okay, so Meridia in blue. And Tellinger. Altmer, male. Uh, capable mage, held in cell with Star of Azura banner and blue crystals. Wait, so blue, they're both blue? Was hers. 
Okay. So they're both blue. He's Azura? Is that what they said? Azura. She's Meridia. And he was Hermaeus Mora. Got it. The Library of Dusk. In the mortal realms, libraries are known as places of learning and scholarship, where those who seek truth may be able to find it. A library in Cold Harbor is a place of indoctrination, where one will on find only the truth according to Molag Ball. Holy crap, it's bright in here. Hey, aren't these the chandeliers that we're getting in the next update? The, like, alien chandelier fanciness? Oh. Well, there's Raynor. Wait. Yellow crystals and Hermaeus Mora. That's not him. Uh, blue crystals. Yellow crystals and Hermaeus Mora. That's him. Can you hear me? Hmm? Oh, sorry. This book is so engrossing. Could we talk later? You need to get out of here. I said I'm reading. Go bother someone with an intellect closer to your own level. I'm sure Lady Clarice and that Ultima Artificer would be happy to listen to your inane ramblings. Look around. This isn't a normal library. It's affecting your mind. I don't know what... Wait. You're right. This place radiates Daedric magic. I can feel it in the back of my skull. We need to free the others. Find Lady Clarice. I remember, she realized something important before we were drawn into the spell. Will you be alright? I think so. I can still feel the spell tugging at my mind, though. Just in case, Kirith and I are going to our camp outside of the ruins. But I'm worried about the others. Since the spell doesn't seem to affect you, can you look for Lady Laurent? You should get to safety. Thanks. Kirith and I will head for our camp I outside should have asked the what ruins. Happened. Meet us there after you find Lady Laurent and the Artificer. Okay, so she was Blue Crystals and Meridia. Dark Smelly. Huh? Oh, it's a shame they didn't have Seekers in this game. This would have been the perfect place. Uh, that's Meridia, and those are Blue Crystals, so that's her. Are you gonna be weird? Do I need to go get Stibbins? This is her, right? Rainer sent you? Why? I just found the most fascinating... Wait, where am I? You were caught in a Daedric spell. I see. I suppose I should ask whether or not you're part of this elaborate trap, but I sense that you're not an illusion. Oh, I can feel the spell, however, crawling back, trying to slip into my mind. What an odd sensation. You know anything about these ruins? Hmm. I remember that we discovered something or another, but... The details elude me. Perhaps if I had more time to recover from the effects of the spell... Oh, wait a moment. Uh, Tellinger said something important just before I became engrossed in this relic. Where's Tellinger now? I wouldn't know exactly, but I'm sure Tellinger's around here somewhere. He's really quite clever and dashing to boot. <laughs> he reminds me of my... my good friend Stibbins. Do you remember what happened? Well, let me see. We decided to take a look around this old library... I was sure there had to be a treasure or two to make it worth our while. Young Raynor became ensorcelled almost immediately and ran off. After that, things kind of get fuzzy. You should head for safety. I'll find Tellinger. Thank you. I'm going to get out of here. I need to find someone. Oh, she needs Stibbins. Alright, so Tellinger was also blue with Azura. Interesting how they, like, cataloged them. Uh, that's Romina. You guys are gonna be an issue while I'm looking around. That is Azura and Blue Crystals, but he's not here? Oh, then, right, he left. If you can read this, open it. Uh, note making it visible to Daedra. If you're reading this, you're not a Daedra, so I can probably trust you. I hope it is you, Clarice, or that promising young Rainer. I dread to imagine that you're both still trapped in this terrible place. This magic here is strong, stronger than even stronger even than mine. I wouldn't have believed myself so so susceptible to simple illusions. Drastic measures be, must be taken. I discovered a vault in the lower levels. I plan to lock myself within, hopefully remaining clear-headed long enough to work out a plan of escape. Find me in the vault, then we can escape together. 
Okay. It is so bright in here. Oh. Oh, below. Right, that would make sense. Uh oh, I need to sneeze. I'm not gonna sneeze. You can't make me sneeze. Heal. There he is. I take it that you are the one who read my note. The spells I placed upon it alerted me that non Daedra eyes examined the writing. I do hope that you are a member of the Force from Tamriel. If so, I have something to show you. What have you discovered? This vault contains a portal, and the power emanating from it is overwhelming. Something on the other side seems to pierce the veil of illusion that hangs over this ruined library. You think it's dangerous? Mm, it's inconsequential. Whatever it is, it may serve a purpose in our battle against the Lord of Cold Harbor. If we can acquire it, then this excursion will not have been a complete waste of time. You must have some idea what it is. Mm, I have my suspicions, but I hate to speculate. If you must know, I think it might be one of the fabled lights of Meridia. The sources of power she used to hurl the hollow city into Cold Harbor. Come in and we shall investigate further. Well, he seems to be in high spirits. Enter the portal and find the source of the power I sense emanating from the other side. Why do you want me to do this? Because I don't completely trust myself. While I have avoided the illusions that trap the others, I can still feel the pull of the Daedric spell. Find the power source and meet me at our camp outside the ruins. And take this token, just in case. What's it do? Once you go through the portal, the token will attune itself to the access point. If you get lost, use the token and it will return you to the portal. What was once a curiosity that won me fortune and acclaim is now a vital tool in our mission. Okay, where are we going? Portal to Mysterious Power Source. Well, we're back in General Cold Harper. I think I'd only be missing one... Maybe two lights of Meridia? If I get this one? I don't know. Ooh. Oh, we're very high up. These lights of Meridia can free me from Molag Baal's bondage. Find them and bring them to me. You're already dead, though. You died in this playthrough already. Sadly. Know that you may jump from here and rejoin your friends below. What power I still possess shall keep you safe. We. Ooh. I didn't I don't remember this at all. This is cool. Thanks, King Lothlorien. Boop. Welcome back, my friend. Did you find it? Was I right? Was the source of power I sensed one of the fabled lights of Meridia? Yep. By the eight that crystal it is a light of Meridia. It is said that these orbs of power once allowed Meridia to transport an entire city into Cold Harbor. If an agent of Meridia harnesses this power force, we shall gain a distinct advantage. Okay. With Meridia's light, we can turn the tide of this campaign. Kirith said you came from the Hollow City. We shall go there once everyone has had a chance to rest. Thank you for your help. You know, you remind me of one of my students. What will you do now? Once inside the Hollow City, we'll begin helping with the war effort. We must test the lights of Meridia and investigate methods for destroying Molag Ball's plane meld mechanism. There is always research to do in campaigns such as this. How's everybody doing? I just wanted to say... What I mean is... Oh, bother. I'm not really very good at this. Thank you. 
for rescuing us, I mean. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I did have another favor I'd like you to do. That is? Stibbins hasn't shown up yet. I haven't seen him since I got lured into that library. I'm surprised he wasn't out here with dinner ready for me. He probably went to higher ground, such as that peak over there. Oh, okay, so she does kind of hint to Rainer's just sleeping it off. Gareth? Thank you so much. I could never have done that by myself. Raynor's sleeping right now, but when he wakes up, I'm going to tell him how great his device worked. Hey, Cadwell. What's up? Ah, there you are. The groundskeeper said you had a pickup. I assumed she was talking about this merry band. Good to see them alive and well. They are alive, right? Not that I mind the odd zombie. It's a spell I can't abide. Nasty, that. They're exhausted, but alive. Yes, whenever I visit a library and do some reading, I usually fall right to sleep. Can't keep my eyes open. Great for when I get insomnia. But enough about my sleeping habits. I shall do my heroic duty and bring them back to the city unharmed. Okay, thanks, Cadwell. No worries there. Almost all the people I've traveled with over the years have remained in one piece for the duration. I've seen the odd dismemberment, but that's far more the exception than the rule. I love Cadwell's writing. He's such a good character. Alright, so we rescued Stibbins and Lady Laurent. Let's rescue Stibbins again. Because for whatever reason, you have to rescue Stibbins twice in Cold Harbor. And apparently the reason is because originally... The person you were going to rescue at the Forlorn... Whatever, what was it called? The Forlorn... Spurned Peak. Was originally going to be Darien. But they changed it. They changed it because Darien became more central to the... Oh, shit. Hey, I got a lead. He got more central to the uh, plot. I'll take that. I'll just deconstruct that. Oh, cool. I can do that lead later. I can't let this happen again. Not... I can't bear to watch someone die again. Oh, Stibbons. That poor, poor man. Is someone in trouble here? This manor. It's not what it seems, and now poor Stibbons has been caught in its embrace. Without help, he will surely die, just like the others. Or is this the one that Darien was originally going to be, be in? One of these two. But perhaps you can go inside and convince him to leave before it's too late. Okay. The Manor of Revelry. Molag Ball is a master of all forms of domination over mortals, including the arts of illusion. As a matter of course, the Lord of Brutality prefers lies to the truth. Except when the truth is more cruel. Oh, this place seems nice. Okay, I, the yellow filter now kind of sours everything. Is this on straight? Oh, look at you. Surrounded by a pair of twins and another lady? I don't know. They look exactly the same. Rayama, Nuzara, Shayafa. Fancy meeting you here, my friend. It's good to see you again. You don't appear to be in mortal danger. Hardly. I haven't received this much adoration. Well, ever. The sisters are even going to throw a celebration in my honor. Doesn't that sound exciting? I'll be at the banquet tables with Rayama. Introduce yourself to Nuzara and Shayefa, then join me. As you wish. I don't think I will, because they're probably danger in disguise. How did you get in here? Be careful. Your eyes will play tricks on you in this place, and you'll need to pay attention to save Stibbins. What do you mean? You need to keep your wits about you. Stibbons has already accepted the illusion and slipped beyond reason. Pay attention, and you may save him yet. Who are you and why do you care about Stibbons? I was in Meridia's city the day she plunged it into Cold Harbor. Like many, I was lost and alone in the wilderness. Then I found this manor. When the sisters discovered that I was a servant of Meridia, they decided to torment me for eternity. How do they torment you? The sisters find it amusing to watch me fret over their meals. But Stibbons has a good heart. He doesn't deserve the fate they have planned for him. The sisters hope to turn me to their side eventually. But they never will. My faith is too strong. Okay. Uh... 
I guess I'm gonna eat this meringue tart. Oh. Well, that certainly explains some things. You must be starving. Try everything. It's all so delicious. I promise. You've never tasted anything like the food we prepare here. I'm sure it's people. Take a nice, relaxing soak. I'm not crying. I've got something in both my eyes. There is something different about you. I knew it. You saw through the illusion, didn't you? What do you mean? Nuzera, Raima, and Shafa rule here through the use of deception and illusion. You saw through the illusion, at least briefly. You're different from Stibbins. You can save him. I wonder if she's also a skeleton. Uh, how do I get to the pools? I can just follow the road. Was it just the tart was like so sour it snapped me out of it? Ah, my dear Shayafa, you've grown lovelier in my absence. It's heavy. The manor is everything you hoped for, isn't it? But look at you. You could really use a bath. A seven to soak in your pool. That's an excellent idea. And you're welcome to join him. In fact, I insist. Before you enter the pool, though, I suggest you wash in the basin. It has the purest water warmed by the underground springs. You and Sibin seem very friendly. Oh, we've become very close in the time he's been with us. He's such a fascinating man. I hope we can get to know each other, too. I do so enjoy making new friends and meeting new people. So is it, like, all blood? Is that all blood? Am I going to see the illusion is going to be all blood? Shayafa is trying to deceive you. If you listen to me and do exactly what I tell you, I'll help you see through their illusions. How can you help me? Take these cleansing reagents and go to the pools. Place the reagents in the basin. They will break through the illusion and let you see the manner as it truly is. Once this occurs, you will be in mortal danger. The sisters prefer their meals happy and deceived. Ooh. Foreboding. You're about to lose some weight, I imagine. I'm now blind. Yep, she's a skeleton. Well, at least it's not blood water. Did it work? Yes, I can see it in your eyes. Now you can see things as they really are. Wait. What happened to you? You can see through the illusion now. This is how I actually appear. For all their power, the sisters couldn't truly harm me as long as I served Meridia. What happened to Stibbins? Stibbins went up to the manor hand in hand with Shafa. I tried to warn him, but he ignored me. You've got to save him. So was she originally a seducer and was forced into this or was she an Altmer that became a seducer? Huh. Can you become a Daedra? Or can a mortal become a Daedra? Hmm, that raises questions. I'm fighting some Skelemans. Uh, I guess I'm going upstairs. Come on, game. That's the problem is sometimes the weaving just doesn't work because you didn't put the commands at the wrong speed and it doesn't like it. Hey, I'm almost, I've almost hit the next champion point. Oh, guardian, infernal guardian helm. Nice. You're what naked. did to me? Shayafa has the key. She took it downstairs. Please, get that key. Okay. I can look at this person's armor again. Very nice. Is it still... What's the date? Yeah, it's still... The Infernal Guardian is still available. 
or the Infernal Guardian style page if you do vet City of Ash. That is one of the easier... City of Ash 1 is one of the easier dungeons to farm, and it's not that long either. I remember it was a pain in the ass when I was doing the Dark Shade Caverns 1 and 2, because I, want, I wanted to get the uh, style pages for those masks. Ugh. I'm not looking forward to the Stone Keeper. I may just end up buying that from someone who enjoys running veteran Frost Vault. Although that is becoming a lot easier. Thank you. Now just give me a moment to deal with my nakedness situation. You know, he almost sounds, if he was more monotone, he almost sounds like Agent 47. Stibbons! Thank the Radiant Mother you're all right. When I saw Aima with your jewels, I feared the worst. All right? How can you say that? They have my dear Lady Laurent's jewels. She will be quite distraught if I don't retrieve them. At least you're alive. That's something. I know a secret tunnel by the pools. I can lead you there while our friend fetches your lady's jewelry. What do you think? You sh oh, wow. Look at Angry Stibbins. Thanks for the help, friend. They stole my clothes, my lady's jewels, and, and my dignity. But at least we can recover Lady Laurent's jewels. Can you, Will you help me? Can you make it to the cave without me? I've been trying to become more of a help to Lady Laurent, so I've been taking dueling lessons. I think I can keep us safe until you return. Find my lady's missing jewels and meet us at the secret tunnel near the pools. Okay. An emerald and a diamond. Where? Oh, they're not even in this building, are they? No, they are. Wait, what? Let me help you out there. Debauchery chamber. Uh oh. Oh, okay. There's not much debauchery happening in here, so it's fine. Have a skeleton. You seem to like them a lot. Wait. Oh, that's not a door. That's just my little guys being around. Well, festivity sounds way better than debauchery. Look at this place. A nice little, a nice little hearth. Oh, scary. Do I really have to get these jewels? Isn't she a noble? Why is she carrying them? Wait. Why would she bring her jewels into Cold Harbor? That doesn't make any sense. They're all skeletons. Dancing skeleton. Ah, oh, get some in my eye. You know, she made it sound like as soon as I did the break the illusion, all the skeletons would be hostile, but it was like like four skeletons that were hostile. Hmm. I didn't even remember that there was a friendly dark seducer in this game. My eye. <laughs> My dueling lessons have finally paid off. <laughs> We made it down here with almost no trouble. Well, Fatahala helped a little. Did you find Lady Laurent's jewels? Here you go. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. The secret exit that Fatahala showed me is behind this rock. Give me a second to equip a weapon and we can head out. I'm ready when you are. Are you coming with us? 
Stebbins really wants to be a hero. Please help him so he doesn't get himself killed. Time to make them pay. Okay. Ooh. Are you not coming with us? Stebbins really. That, that, have an uppercut. Oh, <laughs> it's the thing where the, the blast bones has no target, so he can just goes, oh, and dies. I forgot how cool some of the animations are. For the skeletons, you don't see them too often anymore. Well, not as set pieces, anyways. Scary. Okay, forty-five minutes to do the three cold harbor quests. Not bad time. I think the one in Rothgar is is very long though. Hmm. Oh, excuse me guys. Hold on one second. Oh, what? Huh, I don't remember that trap. I thought that was more of an Imperial City thing. That was funny. Uh-huh. That's what I get. I never thought that nightmare was going to end. Thank you for helping us. Why do these things keep happening to me, I wonder? Will you be all right now? I think so, thanks to you. I need to find Lady Laurent and make sure she's all right. She can get so flustered without me. I'll lead Fatahala to the Hollow City. Those dueling lessons were certainly worth the gold. Oh. Say, are we near a way shrine to the north? Okay. Oh, there they go. Another one. Look. Oh, well, I guess you're an issue. I think the harvesters are one of the more distinctly. See again, it did the animation didn't play out fully there. Distinctly molag ball aligned. God, a thieves, thieves trove and a heavy sack. My lucky day. Ooh, that's a good get. Alchemical resin, I'll take that. It's better than getting ten strawberries. Wow. Okay, so now we gotta go to Rothgar and we gotta go to Sorrow. Which I wanna say is over to the east. And I think it's actually. Where am I going? I think Sor this quest is actually the one I was confusing for the one that involved the Frozen Fleet. But where? I don't even have all the way shrines in Rothgar. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Uh, online. Sorrow. I want to say it's to the east, so probably... No, not... No. Oh my god, all these things with sorrow in their name. Maybe if I add Stibbins to the name. Okay, I'm just gonna... Is it called Sorrow's Kiss? I thought it was just called Sorrow. Oh, the quest is called Sorrow's Kiss. The locate Kiss and the location is called Sorrow. East of Fair and Stronghold. Fair and Stronghold is there. Okay. So it's the northeast, not just the east. We keep ending up back in Rothgar. It's the zone that keeps on giving. Alright, northeast. I'm already faced that Hey, another person's here. 
There wasn't anyone last time I played in Rothgar. Right, so I want to stay... Oh, I guess I want to stick to the road. It seems to lead me right up to the... Hey, a pocket mammoth! I love them! Who doesn't want a dog-sized elephant? Oh no, Sorrow's stay straight that way. I mean, I guess a dog-sized elephant would be better than an elephant-sized dog. Although, that's what Clifford the Red Dog is, and people seem to like him. Hello, Stibbins and Rogabum. This wretched mountain will be the death of me. I'm freezing out Stugrish. here. Stugrish? Was that your name? Stugrish. No, Stug... Yeah, Stugrish. You again. You make a habit of showing up when my lady needs you. I suppose that means we're going to make another attempt to reach that wretched summit after all. Go present yourself to my lady. She should be coming down the trail at any moment. What's that about the summit? This is Sorrow. Apt name, don't you think? The House of Orsimer Glories in Orsinium engaged my lady's services to find the shrine of Tora Groigron. It supposedly waits at the snowy top. No one's attempted to climb it in years. Yet here we are. Is there a problem with the climb? Only if you consider vile beasts, freezing winds, and falling ice to be a problem. We tried to climb the mountain three times now, and each failure was more spectacular than the last. If you're interested, Lady Laurent could really use the help. Okay. This expedition has really proved to be more troublesome than Lady Laurent anticipated. I hate to say it, but I think this time Sorrow might be more than she bargained for. Why am I asking this? Famous treasure hunter. I'm sure you've heard of her. We travel the land searching for hidden treasures, secret relics, and uh, other mystical things. I'm not at liberty to tell you much about our work, but it's very important. Who hired her to lead this expedition? The House of Orsimer Glories. It's Orsinium's fledgling museum. They hired experts like my lady to scour the countryside for ancient relics related to Rothgar's history. To display them. Instant culture for the tourists, you see. Are you looking for a particular relic? Legends claim that a powerful relic was buried with Orsinium's founder. At Torug's shrine, my lady hopes to find the armlet of Torug. The bracelet that gave him the power to tame the wilderness. Now, if only Karsten would stop arguing with her. Who's Karsten? Karsten works for the museum and has been serving as our liaison and cultural expert. It has become clear that he and my lady disagree about a great many things. He's really beginning to try Lady Laurent's patience, I'm afraid to say. Okay, thank you, Steven. Where is she? What's going on here? Where am I supposed to be going? I guess we're supposed to just follow the trail up, which makes more sense. Is this person also doing this quest? What are the odds? No, I guess they're just running up the mountain. Uh, <gasps> bunny? Hello, tiny bunny. They're finally adding bunnies as pets. Took them long enough. Did she have a different outfit? No, it's the same one. Oh, damn you, Karsten. How am I supposed to make a great discovery when... Oh, hello. I was just thinking about you. You do have a habit of showing up whenever I need help. Perchance you've brought a small army with you as well? No, just me. Just you? Well, I was hoping for porters and guides and all, but I suppose that I can make do. I'll need to make a few slight adjustments to my plan, but this time we'll reach the Summit of Sorrow, I'm sure of it. What happened last time? <sighs> the last three times, you mean. We set up one camp, but the harpies and the icy wind cut us down each time we climbed higher. A few orcs even wandered into a chasm because they couldn't see more than two paces ahead in the fog. Ooh, it all upset me so. How can I help? To start, head up and present yourself to cars then while I go check on my lazy manservant, Stibbins. We'll meet you up there. I, and remind cars then who it is that's actually in charge of this expedition. He can be so uncooperative at times. Okay. Uh, why are you still here? Do you need directions or something? What makes a dead orc shrine so important? We're not just talking about any dead orc. This is Tarig's shrine. Not only was he the founder of the original city of Orsinium, but he was the owner of the armlet of Tarig. 
Do you know how high my reputation will soar once I recover that relic? The Armlet of Torug? According to a scroll fragment I studied, the Armlet of Torug is a magical bracelet encrusted with gems. With its power, Torug was able to tame the savage wilderness. It allowed the ancient orcs to establish the first city of Orsinium. Where did you study this scroll fragment? The museum in Orsinium has it on display. It only contains a few words in the ancient orc tongue, but I was able to make some sense out of it. It talked about the armlet, the shrine, and something called Sorrow's Kiss. Oh, doesn't that sound romantic? No. Not in this context. In fact... A polar bear. I guess they technically aren't polar bears because they're not at poles. They're just arctic bears. Oh, whoever that person was coming up in front of me, they cleared everything out. And that's them now, I think. The path to sorrow is laden with many tears. Nice ice wraith. As Sorrow is the tallest peak in the Rothgarian Mountains, the ancient orcs of the early first era used its heights as a burial ground for their chiefs and champions. The mightier the chief, the higher the orcs placed his tomb. In the name of Malakath, Third Tusk, are you? Don't you know this is sacred ground? Third Tusk? Besides, it's also one of the most dangerous places in all of Rothgar. You shouldn't be wandering around up here. Lady Laurent sent me to present myself to you. Oh, she did, did she? I hope you know what you're getting into. Harpies and ogres are bad enough, but the true challenge of sorrow is the mountain itself. The wind cuts like a sword and the freezing mist blinds you. But that's not the worst. What's worse than that? Avalanches. Sorrow wields her snow and ice with terrible precision. I've seen strong orcs swept right off the side like scoring a slaughter in seven pick knockdown. We tried three times and lost most of our expedition. We're all that's left. No one else survived? To be honest, I'm not sure. We barely made it this far before we got separated from the others. If you could look for our companions, that would be helpful. Regardless, we have to find Torug's shrine or all these sacrifices will be for nothing. Tell me more about your missing expedition members. The good orcs, each and every one of them. Expert climbers. But Sorrow isn't an ordinary mountain. Best way to find them? They should have placed markers to indicate avalanche areas. Just follow the markers. Tell me more about Sorrow. Sorrow may not be the tallest mountain in Tamriel, but it's certainly one of the deadliest. That's why the ancient orcs built memorials to their champions on its slopes. The higher the location of the tomb, the greater the sacrifice and prestige. What do you hope to find up there? We're looking for the shrine of the great orc hero, Tora Groegron. Legend says that Torag's shrine sits at the very top of the mountain as befits the founder of the original Orsinium. But it's so high up that nothing can survive there. That sounds dangerous. Extremely. We've already tried to get up there three times. We lost the rest of the expedition and had to turn back before we barely got out of the base camp. But the danger will be worth it if we could find Torog's legendary relics. What's your role in this expedition? I work for Orsinium's newly established museum. I'm their resident expert on the time of Torog, so the museum sent me to assist Lady Laurent and her manservant. I always dreamed of visiting the shrine, so I jumped at the opportunity. And what's her interest in all this? Her reputation brought her to the attention of the museum, and she loves digging around in old tombs. She has a particular interest in an ancient fragment that talks about Sorrow's Kiss. She believes it has something to do with Torog's shrine. Do you and Lady Lauren get along? At first, we got along fine. We both love history and exploring ancient sites. But the woman has been driving me crazy. She lacks the fundamental reverence for the past that separates a scholar from a grave robber. I just don't trust her judgment. Hmm. I guess I'm... don't you dare... Firewood, it won't do us any good if it gets wet. Can I use the horse here? I sure can't. Alright, ogre. Whoa. Blast bones just melted him. Hey, okay, good to know. Ugh. Fighting this ogre with claws is giving me PTSD from scale collar. 
That's not even a hard fight, just no one ever follows the mechanics. Okay. Alright, the avalanche will in fact kill enemies as well. Is it gonna end? Jesus. Won't stop, won't stop, can't stop. Oh, I missed the spot? Where? Ah, there. I didn't want the shield. Cool on. I knew this mountain was going to be the death of us. Come on, we need to get you someplace safe. No, don't waste your time. I'm done for. An avalanche broke both my legs, but I no longer feel any pain. Sorrow is a harsh mistress, and her embrace is cold and deadly. Where's the rest of the expedition? The others. They went on ahead to seek shelter. Don't look so shocked. I'm dying. If they tried to help me, none of us would have survived. Go. Find them. They need your help. More than I... Rest easy. Yikes. Is the mountain enchanted or something? How is it so precise with avalanches? What the hell? Did you just try to spike me on the bridge? Shame on you. Oh, a cave. Someone killed an ogre in here. Ah. What is that? Oh, he got up here. All dead, just as I feared. Wait, what's this? Fascinating. Most of the monuments up here are inscribed with three stanza epitaphs. It was a common practice. This rubbing appears to be Tarug's first stanza. It's written in Old Orkish, proclaiming the memorial's inaccessibility. They found Tarug's shrine! This doesn't look like a shrine. Well, obviously, they found the shrine higher up on the mountain. As to why they came here to die, I have no idea. Maybe the cold or a lack of supplies drove them down. Or they were coming back to meet us. Let us know that they reached the shrine. So what do we do now? Let me translate this rubbing. No looters. No lesser orcs. Remarkable. We should try to find the other two stanzas. If I can read the entire epitaph, it might point us to the location of the armlet of Torog. After that, we'll see. I'll try to find the other stanzas. Oh. Those poor orcs. Stibbins, be a deer and bury them. Uh, wouldn't they want to be buried? Don't be ridiculous. They died well. Leave them where they fell. Leave them? Out in the open? How barbaric! Orcs don't bury their dead. And these are the first orcs to rest on sorrow in generations. We won't steal that honor from them. Fine. You are the expert, after all. Hmm. I can't believe we're just going to leave those poor orcs out here in the open for all the world to see. If you ask me, that's no way to treat the dead. Between you and me, I'm glad Karsten decided to leave the dead orcs where they fell. I have no idea how I would have dug proper graves in this ground. It's frozen solid. They're just a little too nonchalant about everything.
Hmm. It really seems like the person ahead of me has been clearing a path. Give me a thorax. No, you give me a thorax. Damn it. You give me a thorax. Damn it. Oh, I guess that's the person who's been clearing things. Nice netch. Ooh, I'm going slow. Oh, they're using a set with the hunger. It's either... It's either, what is it, the scavenging, scavenging demise or defiler? Are those the two that summon hungers? I don't remember. Thorax. Yeah! Nice statue. Why am I in combat? With whomst? Another stanza. Incredible. Tore to the armor to the very sun. Uh, okay, this way. Oh, was that first one not one of the stanzas? The one outside the door? Okay, I guess it makes more sense that they'd be on the pedestals. I think they found the third stanza, my lady. Quiet, Stibbins. There might still be ogres about. Uh, quickly, Karsten. What does it say? Let me take a look. Torog wasn't pleased that they built his shrine below the summit. He wanted to rest at the top. Does it say anything about the armlet of Torog? He carried it to the summit. It says he laid Sorrow's kiss upon it. Yes, Zuka. I'm certain it's kiss. Isn't it like Sorrow's Zuka kiss? can mean kiss or death? Same something like that? from the fragment. Doesn't that sound so romantic, Stibbins? Very sentimental, my lady. But are you sure that doesn't say Zugra? Now, Stibbins, really, leave the translating to the experts. In the meantime, I must speak to our friend. Huh. Look at Stibbins with the knowledge. Okay. Isn't this wonderful news? To protect his own tomb from looters and to ensure his legend among his people, Taurig climbed to the summit and he took his relics with him. Now be a dear and go up there and retrieve the armlet of Taurig for me. You want me to climb the summit? Ugh, haven't we been over this? I swear, sometimes I think you hear one word I say out of every three. You're almost as bad as my manservant Stibbins. You really think the armlet is at the summit? Of course. It's written in stone. The ancients never lied when they were chiseling words into stone, you know. The new museum will be the wonder of Tamriel with such a relic as the armlet of Tarug in its collection. Isn't the summit dangerous? Hyperbole to keep undesirables from venturing up. And even if there's some modicum of truth to the tale, all you need to do is grab the armlet. Easy as eating a sweet roll. Now, the thin air might make you lightheaded, but you can handle that. What if Karsten's translation is wrong? I don't agree with Karsten about many of his orcish ideas, but on this point, we're in perfect alignment. The proper translation is Sorrow's Kiss. Now go and get the armlet while we see what other relics we can acquire for the museum. Hey, Stibbins. I must say, I'm relieved that you volunteered to ascend the summit. I was certain my lady was going to make me do it. Now I might actually get off this mountain without getting frozen into a block of ice. Okay. Karsten? I envy you, but don't worry. If the summit takes you, then I will be here to attempt the climb after you die. It's the least I could do for someone who has shown such bravery. Gee, thanks. Oh, it's windy. I can barely run. Owie. Oh, I can't even roll. wave if I had to guess of avalanches no that's not the armlet is it 
The orc, frozen in agony, seems to be focusing upon the bracer in his arm. The bracer matches the description of the armlet of Torag. I died. Look, our friends have returned to their senses. Oh, I told you they weren't dead, Stibbins. Where? And look, are we? That must be the armlet of Torog. I refuse to let you go through with your plan, Lady Laurent. Oh, really, Karsten, not that again. We clearly have more to discuss. Stibbins, see to our friends. You missed all the drama while you were unconscious. Lady Laurent and our helpful orc had a dreadfully intense argument about the armlet of Taurog. Oh, it was wonderful to watch. I was unconscious? It's the thin air up here, but whatever you did made the weather calm down, so we followed you up. That's when Karsten and Lady Laurent started arguing. Karsten thinks the shrine would be a better location to display the armlet than the museum. And Lady Laurent disagrees? Oh, most indubitably. The museum hired her to acquire relics, and she hates to disappoint. Perhaps you could talk to them, help them reach a decision that gets us someplace warm. Hmm? You better let me hold on to the armlet, just to be on the safe side. If you insist. I don't know what's gotten into cars, then. Why would anyone want to climb all the way up to the shrine to see an ancient relic when there's a perfectly quaint museum down in Orsinium? I understand that you and Carson disagree about what to do with the relic. I would say so. The museum specifically tasked us to retrieve relics and bring them to Orsinium. History is meant to be admired, not left hidden in the past. Carson's plan means I will have failed in my mission. And Lady Laurent never fails. Let me talk to him first. If you insist. But please don't take too long. All well, this cold is doing terrible things to my poor chafed lips. I'm glad you recovered the armlet of Torug. But before you decide what to do with the relic, you need to hear what I have to say. Okay. So it would seem. This shrine stands as a tribute to our past glories. It reveals an age when orcs thought nothing of sacrificing dozens of warriors to build memorials to our strength. It sets the kind of example that the new Orsinium needs. Tell me what you want to do with the relic. The armlet of Torog should remain in his shrine. Make sure every orc climbs sorrow to see it, to understand what our ancestors were capable of achieving. In this way, the relic will become a symbol to bind our people together. Surely you can see that. Yeah. I knew you'd see it my way. Soon, every orc will be able to make the Especially because the weather's going to be fine. It's just a pilgrimage, then. On this important relic. You have done the orcs a great service today, my friend. You're welcome. You sided with Karsten? After all we've been through? It's been decided. Torug's relic stays in Torug's shrine. The poor orcs have to climb up here to see a piece of their heritage? That's positively criminal. Wait, what's Stibbins doing with the relic? A little faster, Stibbins. I'm anxious to see what the relic actually does. But, my lady, what if I'm not worthy? Nonsense. We're not afraid of Oh, you're gonna get turned to ice. Are we? No, my lady. Of course not. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, Stibbins, what did you do this time? Hmm. Maybe your manservant was right. Maybe it does say Sorrow's Curse. Oh, he double froze. Stibbins always finds a way to turn the simplest task into an ordeal. I don't know why I let him accompany me on my adventures. But what about you? I can't believe you agreed with Karsten instead of me. Torog's relic belongs in his shrine. And what am I supposed to tell the House of Original Galleries, or whatever it is the orcs call their museum? That they have an annex all the way up here? Wait a moment. That's a great idea! I'm a genius! You inspired me again, my faithful friend. And what about Stibbins? Someone at the Mages Guild will help me thaw out Stibbins. It may take weeks to warm him up, but he'll be fine. This didn't turn out as planned, but it'll do. Lady Laurent, founder of the Shrine of Sorrow. Has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Okay. Give me a moment and I'll open a portal back to our base camp. A portal? So why did we have to make that harrowing climb? Oh, leveled up. Teleportation is a delicate business. I can't just open a portal to some place I've never seen. I'm a little worried about getting Stibbins back to the Mages Guild. 
Orcs don't have a word for fragile or handle with care. I hope Karsthen can get Stibbins back to the Mage's Guild without dropping him too many times. I'm not sure what they can do if poor Stibbins gets cracked or even shattered. Anyway, thanks again for your able assistance. You are welcome. Now I'm gonna travel to arguably the opposite temperate climate and go to Vardenfell. I just have to remember where the shrine is. I think, again, I think it's in the southeast, but who knows anymore? Azura's Coast. Doesn't actually tell me. Cool. Oh, they're down. Oops. Careful. Don't crack my manservant. Honestly, you orcs approach everything like you're going to war. Perhaps you'd like to carry him, your majesty. I'm a little worried. Okay, so they have the same dialogue. Poor Stibbins. Poor, poor Stibbins. He doesn't deserve this. Balfell isn't actually anywhere. Oh, wait. I can look it out on the map. Thank you, USP. The unofficial Elder Scrolls pages. You are one of the best wikis I've ever used. Alright, so I want to say it's... in the southeast. But where? Uh, it's one of these little island chains. It's got a little... Wi there it is. We need to go there. We need to go there. Hey, Vardenfell. Good old Vardenfell. I just have so much attachment to this one zone because it was the first one I explored. I really would like to play Morrowind at one point. It's just... Not very accessible. Uh, that way. What am I doing on time? Uh, I'm doing okay. I do like this region. Come here, mud crabs. I need your chitin. You didn't give me any. Ah, Redoran, most noble of the great houses. Don't you recognize Telvanni Excellence? Okay, you fellas just have fun. I'm not getting involved in that. House politics. Am I right? Doesn't this quest involve Shia Gorath? It might. Just one frustration after another. Hmm. Investigator Vale? It's about damn time you buoyant armchairs arrived. Armchairs. I requested assistance almost an hour ago and... Oh, hello. I was just thinking about you. You may not be a bouncing armager, but you've never disappointed me before. Perchance you're here to help? What well, seems to be the problem, ma'am? First, my assistance from the Mages Guild disappeared without so much as a by your leave. Then, my useless manservant Stibbins vanished. Said he was going to solve the mystery, but now he's disappeared as well. And it's almost tea time. Oof, intolerable. What are you and your assistants doing out here? We were exploring the Balfell ruins when everyone left me. I expect such behavior from the hired help, but Stibbins? He's usually more dependable than that. Locate the mages and Stibbins, then use this signal wand so I can join you. 
Okay. I blame the investigator Veil vale books I lent to Stibbins. He was never this adventurous before he became enchanted with her admittedly thrilling stories. But what are you still doing here? I thought you were going to find Stibbins and the mages. What's so special about the Balfell ruins? That's what we're trying to determine. Balfell was once a great city built atop an ancient center of Sheogorath worship. Now only the Daedric ruins remain. Once we find the treasure, I'll be more famous than that blowhard Narcissus Dren. Oh, I like Narcissus Dren. No one of note. Just a pretentious, arrogant author and adventurer with an overinflated sense of self-importance. He's an irritating dark elf who loves to hear himself talk. And the topic of conversation? The greatness of Narcissus Dren. The Swit. I've never been clear, but is Swit short for shitwit? You mentioned treasure? Treasure, relic. I'm sure there's something important hidden in the ruins. According to local rumors, people disappear around Balfell all the time. That's what sparked my interest. Mysterious happenings often extend my fame and fortune. Spear? Like Sibbins and the Mages? Hmm. I suppose there could be a connection. On the other hand, never attribute to ancient curses what can be explained by greed and laziness, I always say. Tell me more about these mages. Oh, they were just your typical apprentices. Young, eager, hoping to make a name for themselves by working alongside a famed treasure hunter. The six of them readily broke off promptly at sunset yesterday and abandoned the camp. They abandoned me! Why do you think they abandoned you? They already had my gold, so I stay to finish the work. Not the studious and well-mannered apprentices I expect from the Mage's Guild. Besides, if truth be told, they were incompetent. I'm surprised they remained with us as long as they did. And Stibbins? My manservant Stibbins. He's lazy, drinks too much, and requires detailed instructions to accomplish the simplest of tasks. But his fish stew is delicious, I'll grant him that. I regret letting him read my collection of Investigator Veil vale mysteries. What do the Investigator Veil vale books have to do with all this? Uh, have you read them? She's a brilliant detective. I fear Stibbins got the wrong idea and thinks he can find the missing mages just like Investigator Veil. Vale. When you locate him, I shall express my disapproval for his reckless disregard of his duties. All right. Let's go find Stevens. More mud crabs. Mayhaps you will give me some chitin? Nope. Ah. Huh. That's perfectly normal. Medbeck? I don't want to go back. No, no, I can't go back. You can't make me go back. Calm down. Are you one of the mages working for Lady Laurent? The overbearing Breton? She's working with the spiders, isn't she? She knew! She knew the spiders would take my friends. She knew they would make them dance. I had to run, you see. I had to. I don't want to dance. I don't know how! Spiders took the other mages? Spiders, yes! Please, you have to rescue them! The spiders make them dance, but nobody can dance forever! I'd go back, but I can't. I don't dance, you understand? I won't dance! Why do the spiders want us to dance anyway? It makes no sense! Have you... Do you know a man named Stibbins? Have you seen him? Stibbins? He's in league with the spiders. Why else don't they force him to dance? He went to join his spider masters, but he dropped his spice pouch just over there. Oh no. Do, do you think it's full of spiders? What should I do? What should I do? Stay here. I'll examine the spice pouch to see if I can pick up his trail. Ah, oh, hello, dead person. And other dead people. I dare say, help! Help! Merciful Stender! That creature was positively terrifying! I did manage to find one of Lady Laurent's hirelings, though. But it's good to see you again, my friend. You'll save my lady's expedition, just as you have done in the past. What creature are you talking about? That horrific spider! I was using several of the inquisitive techniques employed by Investigator Vale in her fabulous stories when the largest, most terrifying spider I ever laid eyes upon sprang at me with evil intent. 
even spook the mage. That's one of the mages working for Lady Lauren? It is. Though she's not making much sense. Perhaps you could talk to her? Lady Laurent believed the mage is absconded with her hard-earned gold. So I followed them to these ruins. And, well, I encountered the spider, and then everything went dark. Dark? So the spider attacked you? I, uh, no. This is embarrassing. It started talking to me. Then I swooned and passed out. The spiders have that effect on me. Oh, I, I must return to Lady Laurent. It's well past her tea time, and she's going to be extremely displeased with me. Don't leave yet. Let me talk to this mage first. No! I won't listen! I won't listen! Leave me alone, spiders! Are you hearing something? The spiders! Those damned spiders! They... they talk to me! They want me to dance! Mustn't! I mustn't dance for them! That would be bad! Why do the spiders want you to dance? Why do you think? No! Don't think. That's when they get you. They crawl into your mind. Don't let them. No. I must go now. Go? Go where? The spiders. They call to me. I will join the dance. Uh. So what are your thoughts on spiders? Oh, good. You found Stibbins. Probably just got turned around in the ruins again. Okay, do it again? Oh. Hmm. So tell me. What did you discover my manservant doing when you happened upon him? Did he provide an explanation as to why I'm still waiting for my afternoon tea? Uh, Sibin says a terrifying spider talked to him and he fainted. A talking spider? Ridiculous! Still, Stibbins has always been dreadfully afraid of the eight-legged pests. No excuse for shirking his responsibilities, though. And the mages? Did you stumble upon them while you tracked down my manservant? I found two of them. One ran into the ruins ranting about spiders. I couldn't follow her, though. Why not? Don't tell me you're afraid of a few spiders in a dusty old ruin. There was a magical barrier. I couldn't pass through it. Interesting. Spiders and a barrier. Some sort of spider magic? Regardless, such occurrences suggest there's more to these ruins than I presumed. A great treasure, perhaps? But why could the mage pass through the barrier and not you? Maybe it has something to do with the spiders that were talking to her? She heard talking spiders? Incredible. I can brew a tea to keep Stibbins from fainting. Then he can listen to the spiders and lead us through the barrier. But we need to test its potency. Bring me a small spider from the ruins and meet us at my camp. Okay. I beg my lady's pardon. I really thought I could solve the case of the missing mages. Oh, whatever gives you that idea. You can barely hey. manage not to lose my collection of combs and brushes every time you pack them. Oh, it's a fiend droth. That's not a spider. Investigator Vale... I mean... Would Milady like her tea now? Hmm, when you say small spider. Oh, look at all these little fellas. Mine spider. Ooh. That's creepy. Spider, I'm still conscious. My tea worked. Head for the ruins and find the spider that talked to you, Stibbins. <laughs> As you command, my lady. I wonder, would this water be salty, ashy? I wonder what it would be like, because it is right next to a volcano, but it's also connected to the ocean. I guess it would just be brackish. Another spider! And it's talking to me. Follow my manservant. Aha! You brought friends to the dance! Mad Grisco? 
There's room for you all. Well, what do we have here? What do we have here? Now this is intriguing. Someone set up a little workshop in these ruins. What kind? Alchemy from the looks of it, though I see a few components related to Daedric magic. Dead spiders, vials, various alchemical components. This must be how these mind spiders were created. They certainly don't appear to be natural creatures. You notice anything else? The notes in this journal, they refer to different kinds of spiders. Mind spiders, we already know about them. It also lists pack spiders, light spiders, and exploding spiders. How exciting. Someone is making spiders of nefarious purpose. What does this all have to do with statements of the missing majors? The journal indicates that victims controlled by the mind spiders are needed for some sort of daedric ritual. We need to find whoever is performing this ritual, and you need to make them stop. Then I can lead Stibbins and the others to safety. Sounds like a plan. Follow me, brave assistant. <laughs> it is some kind of danger. Come to join us! Dance! Lord's Dance! Brave assistant, do Will. something! What was that? Nethers and the Mad God? Oh, never mind. Run! Okay. <laughs> Single file. Oh, how did he get in here? When did he get in here? Medbeck. Okay. Oh, everyone seems to be in rough condition. As much as a good run from a Daedric ruin really gets the blood pumping, I wish we had been more successful. We lost a few of the apprentices, and I never did locate any relics or treasures. And we stopped the Daedric priests and rescued Sibbins. Hmm, I suppose. I still can't figure out how the priest was able to control their minds using spiders. It's a bafflement. Maybe one of these scrolls I seized on the way out will shed some light on this final mystery. Scrolls from a Daedric Ruin? Sounds dangerous. No need to worry. Stibbins will examine the scrolls. He's ever more durable than he appears. I know a scribe who lives near White Ridge Barrow in Skyrim. His fascination with spiders borders on obsession, but I'm sure he'll appreciate the scrolls. Do you really want Sibbins to examine a Daedric scroll? I appreciate your help and your concern, but what possible harm could glancing at a few dusty scrolls cause? Here, for your trouble. I seem to have some extra gold after adjusting my staff's compensation. Oh, Stibbins, since you like to read... Stibbins, I have something I'd like you to read. What's this? The newest Investigator Veil vale mystery. Just read it out loud and tell me what it says. <gasps> Ooh, a read aloud. What fun. Just enunciate, Stibbins, and speak loudly. Any time now, Stibbins. This isn't the newest Investigator Veil vale mystery. Read the scroll, Stibbins. Something, something. Mad God flows and ebbs. Something, something, something. Call forth the tangled webs. Oh, no, that doesn't sound good. Oh. <laughs> oh! Really, Stibbins? You do manage to complicate the simplest tasks. Uh, hmm. Look what you did to poor Stibbins. He's, uh... He's all tied up right now. Stibbins has a way of dropping a fetcher fly into the honey. It's a gift, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll figure out how to extract him from those webs. After I enjoy another cup of tea. Safe travels, my friend. Okay. Alright, well. Poor Stibbins. I mean, that's really... Every quest with Stibbins, that's how it goes. Poor Stibbins. get onto land from anywhere on this side. I can't hear. Help someone in need. Man, I I would like to see I on one hand I do want to play Morrowind to see what 
like it looks like a few hundred years after this game. But on the other hand, I want to play it like I would. Why don't they just make a remake of of Morrowind and just even Oblivion? That game hasn't aged very well. Okay, where's Black Rose? I need to go. Oh, I have it on my map. Perfect. We're off to Merkmire. The last quest. God, they really haven't added anything for Stibbin since this. I mean, that's why these people. That's why people play stuff with Stibbins. It's. Or play these quests. It's more for Stibbins, not for the lady. Oh, I remember this quest, too. Bog lights. Hmm. Said it's supposed to be here at the ruined guardhouse, but I see no one. Oh, there's a there's a someone. It was there and then it wasn't? What the hell was that? Search with your toes, Stippins. Your toes. What staff is that? I remember you. As I recall, you were somewhat helpful the last time my manservant got into a spot of trouble. I won't turn away good fortune. You know how useless Stibbins can be when it comes to recovering historic artifacts. Uh, what are you looking for? An antique Argonian renewal charm. Without one, they'll never let me observe the ritual of renewal. And that's the whole reason I came to this backwater in the first place. Oh, now, if only Stibbins would stop playing in the mud and find the damn thing. Why do you think you'll find this charm in the mud? I'll have you know, I paid a lot for that information. But Stibbins is exceedingly slow and requires constant supervision. Why, I can't even spare a moment to look for the hand mirror he lost. Would you mind ever so much finding it for me, please? Okay. That hand mirror is a family heirloom. I can't bear the thought of never seeing it again. Oh, in the meantime, I need to keep prodding my manservant. If I give Stibbins even a moment's reprieve, he'll find a way to laze about. <laughs> He's ever so good at that. What's Stibbins doing in the mud again? He'd have me believe he's doing his job. But I suspect he's using the opportunity to daydream and dawdle. <laughs> Stibbins probably determined that the charm wasn't down there fairly quickly. Then he decided to relax with a soak in the mud. What's the ritual of renewal? I believe it has something to do with Argonian mating habits, but I'm not quite sure. Hence my desire to observe the annual ritual. I have a keen interest in the romantic tendencies of different cultures. Uh, purely on an academic level, you understand. What brings you to Merkmire, Lady Loren? Oh, I've been researching the mating habits of the indigenous races. Fascinating stuff. I plan to write a book. A reference to an Argonian ritual of renewal I came across intrigued me, but the details were vague. So we traveled here to investigate. But the last time I saw you, Stibbins wasn't doing so well. Why, whatever do you mean? I'm quite sure that if anything untoward happened to my manservant, my I'd be face. the first to know. Besides, Stibbins may seem frail and sluggish, but... <sighs> I have no idea where I was going with that line of reasoning. Alright. Her mirror... Wow. It's just, like, right over here. Help! I say help! Stibbins has gotten himself stuck fast. Ah, much thanks. That wasn't as pleasant as you might expect. I wouldn't expect it to be pleasant at all. If I'm perfectly totally honest. A less famous treasure hunter might think the Argonians wanted to foil her efforts to locate a renewal charm. But Lady Laurent is not so easily deterred. We are going to find one of those charms, even if Stibbins has to search the entire swamp. Why are you so intent on finding a renewal charm? It's used in the mysterious ritual of renewal that one particular tribe of Argonians conducts on an annual basis. Carved from the living root of their history, or so I've been led to believe. 
They won't let an outsider attend the rite without one. And what happens at the ritual renewal? That's hard to say. Mostly because no one will give me a definitive answer. As far as I can tell, it's somehow connected to the tribe's breeding practices. The closest I got was when many whispers offered to point me towards a charm. For a price. A price? Gold. An obscene amount, truth be told. Look, Stippens is reliable, but he has his failings. So many, many failings. Will you accompany him to many whispers in the Swallowed Grove? Help him confront the lying Argonian and get me one of those charms? Okay. After you and Stibbins confront many whispers, meet me at the Lodge of Renewal. It's north of the Brightthroat Village, out in the middle of nowhere. Come to think of it, everything out here is in the middle of nowhere. But I'm sure you'll find it. Tell me more about many whispers. He's an Argonian. A scout of some kind. Knows the swamp like a bear knows honey. Many Whispers was willing to talk to me when so many of his fellows wouldn't give me the time of day. <laughs> I'm not sure Argonians can tell time, but you get my point. If his first tip if his first tip didn't pan out, why go back to him? I gave him a small fortune in gold. He may have sent us here in good faith, or he may have tried to cheat me. I will not be fleeced. Besides, as far as I can tell, he is the best scout in the area. If there's a charm to be had, he'll know about it. Okay. Where? Oh, straight north, Get basically. Get going, Stiffens. And do try to redeem yourself this time. She's so mean. Uh, right away, milady. Just let me uh, catch my breath. What made that sound? Was it the coup de gava that made that sound, or was it the crocodile? Tuh. The quest is called something about Stibbins. Ooh, that's deep. eating. Revered by some, but dreaded by most. The Ri An Wo, or as it's rendered in Tamriel's speech, the sh swallowed grave, is said, to, said by the Argonians to be a place where dreams walk. Spooky. Oh, I guess it's been eight hours since I last got these. Goody, goody gumdrops. Gravebound vanguards. They're just skeletons. They're not voroplasm skeletons. I didn't want to kill that poor centipede. Lady Laurent demands restitution, you... you... jackanapes. Jackanapes? You must have me confused with an Argonian of another tribe. Does he have a... funky left eye? It's hard to tell. Keep your voice low, or you'll awaken every skeleton in the grove. What are you doing down here, by the way? Uh... Lady Laurent demands re uh, recompense. The information provided didn't lead to a renewal charm. Oh, the dry skin shrew. Her manservant has been bending my frill in a most unpleasant manner. Understand, I pointed her toward one possible location. I never said she would definitely find a charm in that puddle of mud. So you lied to her? Lied? Oh, not in so many words, no. I sold her hope, which she seemed to desperately need at the time. Look, if she really wants a renewal charm, I just so happen to have one. Would you like to make a trade? Intimidate! Oh, I must admit, you certainly present a more compelling argument than the manservant. Oh, very well. Take the charm, and tell Lady Laurent that she has gnawed away at the goodwill of many whispers. 
Why did you sell her the charm in the first place? Well, let me think about that. If I had just sold her the charm up front, she never would have given me gold to point her toward the mud puddle. And then you wouldn't be here willing to negotiate another deal. Next question. Alright, I'm going. Goodbye. You suck. These skeletons do not give a lot of experience. They don't even give 900, they give 450. Ugh. Hmm. I like Merkmire, it's just a real pain in the ass to travel through. Ah, and everything, it's like things are always just close enough and just far enough away to make getting to them really annoying. Like, it's not even worth going to a way shrine to travel there. It'd be faster just to run there. But just barely. They could have put, like, what is happening here? Okay. They could have put, like, one or two more way shrines in this region. It would have been so much nicer. They even did that with uh, Western Skyrim because people were complaining. I don't know if were people complaining or if it just they just decided to do it, but they added two near some of the uh, har uh, har Harrow Storms. Oh, right. The weird tree. The weird ship in the tree. I always forget about it. Poisonous plant. I am now poisoned. I thought the Renewal Lodge was at... I guess it's not a Bright Throat Village, it's... What is... Oh, I think these are related to the quest we're doing right now. Some very blue glowy plants. Or greenish. I guess they're a little green. No, it is not possible. You do not even possess a Renewal ah, look, Charm. Here they come. My Even man so, servant will be along no with one outsider has ever participated in our sacred rite. You talk to her. Maybe she'll understand your less refined use of the language. Rude. Nazca, Halish, Bookstill. You. You are the outsider who brought life to the lost village. All of Merkmire owes you a debt of gratitude. I am surprised that you speak for the loud woman, but my answer remained the same. No Ogel has ever witnessed our sacred rite. There must be a way for Lady Laurent and Stevens to observe your renewal, right? Hmm. I suppose one outsider could be permitted to take part in the ritual of renewal. Of course, the preparations required are extensive. What kind of preparations? To prepare for the renewal rite, the Us, one must align their three primal essences. Blood, bile, and mind. With the renewal charm in hand, one must endure the bite of a hummerwing, drink the venom of a snake, and meditate beneath a waterfall. And that would allow one of us to participate in the ritual? If an outsider were to do these things, and demonstrate a true desire to learn more about our culture, I would not turn them away. Okay. The rites of the Saxlil. They are not meant to be shared with outsiders. I advise against riding this current, but I will honor our agreement. Once one of you fulfills the requirements of preparation, we will begin the ritual of renewal. Can you tell me more about the ritual? No. The ritual is sacred, and not something we discuss or talk about outside the confines of the Renewal Lodge. If you are the one to complete the preparations, you will learn about the ritual soon enough. There must be something you can tell me. The ritual embodies the concept of the Us. The sacred mating practices of our tribe. 
Just as the plants and animals of the swamp renew their numbers with the turn of each new season, so too do we enter the lodge and renew our tribe. Okay. Oh, okay, we're going to... Oh, wow. All over the place, huh? Wee! Oh, what do you folks have to say about all this? Did I hear correctly? That Dryskin is going to attend the ritual of renewal? Well, this ooze suddenly got a lot more exciting. Hmm. I, for one, will not be part of any ritual of renewal that includes an outsider. The thought is much too scandalous to even contemplate. An Ogel at a renewal, right? I never thought I'd see the day. Well, everyone seems to be on different sides of this very odd fence. I want you to attend the renewal, right? I, my lady, one Oh, I should have listened to their dialogue. Oh, you got here, Big Venom. If I must drink the vile stuff, we'll need to find a den. Let's split up and look around. Okay, I guess we're gonna milk a snake. Yep, those are snakes, all right. Ah, you located a snake den. Now, carefully, like milking a very small, elongated goat. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Bottoms up. This is how a person would die. Oh. Well, I'd say your bile is aligned. Okay, I guess there's nothing else to say to him besides sorry. There's the boat. What was that about Fargo? Hello? I'm considering planting mushrooms here. The old wreck provides ample shade, and the trickle of rain lasts many days longer under its leaky trunk. There would be the risk of it all coming down on my head, but that is just the way of things. Is there a ship above us? Once, I think, Sith is tired of it and returned it to the trees. The changer is boundless in its creativity, yes. Do you know how it got there? I do not. But I saw Amlai guiding a Malil to the ridge above. Imperials seem to have interest in such things. You'll have to go through the sunken bulwark east of here to get up there. Do not pay too steep a price for your curiosity. Oh, so you can learn more about that ship. I'll have to do that some some point. Bivens, I are you here? It's it's freezing under here. But I think I can feel feel my mind aligning quite nicely. How long do you have to be there? I I don't exactly know. I, I can't can't feel my extremities, but I think I'll stay under uh, for a few more moments. Okay, good luck. I didn't really need to help him there. Hummer wing. What are hummer wings? Are they just like reskin Kudagravas? Kudagravas? Nasty blood bugs? Do they have small ins- I mean, I've seen definitely seen swarms of regular flies, but do they have like... Oh, she's from Morrowind. I remember her. Set the trap and let go. W what? Alright, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Oh. Hmm. 
Okay, treasure chest. Why not? Uh, why didn't my mount summon? Looking for... That looks like a hummerwing hive. Could you give it a little kick? Gently. Uh. Oh. And now it splits into a couple little ones. One of the more annoying enemies in this game. How do I kick it? Oh. Uh, nothing happened? I suggest you return to the renewal lot. Alright, I'm just gonna assume that's bugged and he was gonna get bitten horribly. It's probably fine. Oh, I didn't break up these episodes quite as evenly as I would have liked, but it's fine. Stand over there this instant. Uh, as you wish, my lady. My manservant did as you asked. Will you allow him to observe your ritual? If you insist. Come, dry skin. Join us in the lodge. Hmm. Oh, I thought he wasn't going to participate. Everyone, open your ears and listen to this. The starts now. Breathe deep the arousing fumes. Take it all in. Let your aligned essences guide you. When you feel totally filled, relax your cloaca and let it all out. Uh, I don't think I have a cloaca. Don't have a... Oh no, you must exit the lodge right now, dry skin. That was most peculiar. Stibbins! Oh, not again. Yep. <sighs> My sorry excuse for a manservant can't even take part in a simple Argonian ritual without one disaster or another befalling him. Worse, he didn't even get a chance to tell me what happened inside the lodge before he changed. What happened to Stibbins? Uh oh. Oh. What happened to Stibbins? <laughs> Why, the same thing that always happens. He ruined my latest undertaking by transforming into an egg. Oh, I'm sure this has something to do with the tribe's mating practices, but I can't for the life of me imagine how. Is there any way to fix him? Uh, turn him back? Yes, I suppose I'll need to work on that. Or not. Imagine what might hatch from such an egg. Woo! Or maybe I'll make an omelette. I'm particularly famished after all this work. Anyway, here you are. For your assistance, it's been a pleasure. Hmm. Despite his best efforts, Stibbins actually did something right. I have plenty of material for my book, including the first eyewitness account of an actual ovum transformation. Oh, but there's work to be done. I wonder what happens if I crack the shell. Is that egg really Stibbins? You saw what I saw. Of course, when it comes to the interplay of alchemical reagents and tribal magic, anything is possible. But for the purposes of my book, let's go with the transformation theory. Can he be turned back? I certainly hope so. Who's going to prepare my supper and afternoon bath? Unless you'd be interested in... No, I suppose not. I'll contact my colleagues in the Mage's Guild. I'm sure one of them can help me work this out. Yeah! <laughs> Poor Stibbins. Despite his okay, same dialogue. Well, that's it for Stibbins and Lady Laurent. I mean, to be fair, he's gotten out of worse situations than being an egg, but uh, not by much. Still, we haven't seen these two in two years. Hopefully, they show up in the next year. So, yep, that's it for them. Uh, this episode ended up pretty long. Oh well. Next up is the Va the Vanos twins, but that'll probably be two episodes as well because they have a lot of quests too. 
But that's for the next episode, so thanks for joining me. Come back, I'll have the next stuff up real soon, but until then, bye. <laughs>